excited about the race today. I wish I would have had a little bit more of that last lap to try to outkick Cursor, but uh, you know, she's a great competitor and I think a really honest competitor. So if I'm going to lose to someone, she's definitely not the worst option. Um, and, you know, it's, it's my PR and I was pretty happy I hadn't run that in two years. So it's good to see that I'm moving in the right direction. And how do you approach, I mean, she's also the collegiate record holder in the event. Yeah. How do you get your mind, what are you thinking about when you're going to face um, her? You know, I was just trying to tell myself, you know, she did that with pros. If she has to pace the race, it'll be a lot harder to run a time like that. And so I was just trying to be a leech and stick on her and hopefully I'll kick her at the end. Is there a moment in particular that you were waiting for to try to move? Um, no, you know, I didn't have that big of a plan, you know, whenever you're in a race you just have to be kind of plastic and accept and attack and just respond to moves and so I was kind of waiting for an opportunity and it just came down to the last lap, I didn't quite have it. How are you feeling after that uh, DMR anchor last night? Uh, the DMR was a big disappointment. You know, our 800 meter runner, Sadie Henderson, got injured in her prelim, and um, our alternate stepped in and did an amazing job and ran a PR, but it just wasn't quite enough for us to be as competitive as we wanted to. There's no sub for a 203 girl. Exactly. Sadie's amazing, and our alternate Amy was amazing as well, but we just did not quite have it. And it was our first DMR ever at Nationals, so it was a good start, but. I just wish that everything would have gone our way. What, what exactly happened to her? Um, uh, it, she just got tripped up in her race, kind of on the rail. Just She was a little boxed in. I think it affected her gait, and she ended up rolling her ankle. So okay. it's really swollen. Ali, uh, Ali, like you said, the, uh, the uh, first first relay, uh, relay being here, I think, was the first relay of any kind since like '75 with the men's four x four or something. Yeah. And, and, and you, what, what does this do just for the program setting uh, setting up for outdoors and just what you're, you know, what, what you're, you know, what you guys are, are doing? Because cross was such an unbelievable finish. You guys have you know followed up with you know now a great you know, indoor finish. So what's this going to do for you and the group outdoors? I really hope that we can keep the momentum going and continue to break barriers within the Boise State program. I mean, it's so exciting that we got six and we're able to come and qualify at DMR and compete as well as we did. Um, it just says a lot about the coaching staff and the commitment of the girls on the team to just continue to improve. What event are you most excited to run outdoors? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I haven't really gone at a 5K since the Olympic trials almost two years ago. So I'm really excited to try to run a fast 5K this season, but also to get back to the 3K and maybe run a fast 1500. You know, running the mile in the DMR has got me loving mid-distance. So <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm just glad that there are options and my coaches are flexible. Yeah, I hope to do the steeple again. That's a super fun event. You know, outdoor has some options, and so that's nice. I like to keep things switched up. We're always in the season. It's nice to do something a little different. I mean, you've done like mountain running as well. Is that something that you try to do that at all? Yeah, um, so Mount Marathon is always like a race that I like to do in the summer, and it just depends on what I'm doing, you know, job wise, with internships or whatever, if I'll be in Alaska to do it. but. I still continue to enjoy to run trails and go on hikes. I mean, it's just running is such an awesome sport and such a good way to see new places. So I think we saw you walking to Torchy's Tacos yesterday when we were leaving, and we were very curious what you ordered. <laughs> um, so I did not eat tacos to prep for the DMR. I was just sitting with my parents and wanted to spend some time with them, even though it, it did induce a little bit of me wanting to vomit. But <laughs> I mean, I love tacos, but the thought of them before a race did not sit well. Luckily, I kept it down. <laughs> so, do they come to a lot of your meets? Like, the last, it's a long trip from the last Yeah, day. you know, distance does not stop my parents. They, I guess I get my perseverance from them because they are all over the place. My dad has hardly any days off work and he, I swear, he uses all of them to watch me race. And I really appreciate their support. Does that give you kind of an extra boost when you're racing? No yeah, you're it, it does. I always want to perform well for them. And I know that me performing well in their eyes is just me giving everything I have in every race. And so, that's definitely my goal whenever they're there. So what do you eat for lunch if you don't eat tacos? <laughs> I have a really bland Subway sandwich. <laughs> my coach makes fun of me. He's like, you're going to hate Subway eventually. I'm like, I already don't really like it. It's just something that works. <laughs> Great job today. Thank you.